So yeah, it's uh, it's official. The Winter Soldier and Captain America Civil War are now my new favorite Marvel movies. Hey guys, welcome to See or Not to See, and today we're going to be talking about Captain America Civil War. First off, I just wanted to say that Marvel was able to adapt one of their most epic comic book series with just like less than half of the characters that were in the book, and they still made it epic. I mean, just... Props to you, Marvel. Just... You've deserved it. So first off, I just want to say that, like, Chris Evans, greatest Captain America. Robert Downey Jr., greatest Iron Man. Everybody in this movie just did a fantastic job with their performances. I love them all. I love watching them all. And their performances were what really, like, just made you just gravitate towards the characters in this movie. I will say right now, throughout this entire movie, I was on the edge of my seat, like... Oh my god, what's going to happen next? What's going to happen next? What's going to happen next? And that that's really due to just the great performances and the great writing by the Russo brothers and whoever else like wrote this movie. Props to you guys. Great job. They made these characters just so interesting and, you know, relatable and likable that you don't want to see any of them lose. A great part of this movie that they really just, like, nailed that I knew that I said that they have to do this with Civil War. They did it in the book. They have to do it in the movie if they really want to, you know, appeal to everybody is that they have to show both sides of the story and, like, so that you can kind of agree with both sides like okay I can see where you're coming from but at the same time I can see where you're coming from my nitpicks for this movie are very minor and I can only go into them in the spoiler talk I can't go into them here because you know I do think that like you know I'll spoil the plot for you if I go over them here so I'm not gonna do that there's only one really big nitpick that I have with the movie and like I said I'm only gonna go over to spoiler talk but and it really it was really frustrating for me but at the same time like it does not ruin the movie. It's not a deal breaker. They did such a great job of capturing such an epic feel for this story. It was just so, like, you know, like I said, half the amount of the characters from the book, and it's just still, it came out great. Tom Holland as Spider-Man was awesome. I mean, he's not in the movie very much, but he was great. My new favorite on-screen Spider-Man. I'm not a huge Spider-Man fan like some people are. I know a lot of people that's like they're the hero that they all grew up with. For me, it was always Superman because I've always been a DC guy, but I've always loved Spider-Man's, you know, comics from the 90s, like Todd McFarlane's run on him and everything. And I gotta say that this Spider-Man in the movie, Tom Holland, like, this is Spider-Man. This is, like, the most accurate, faithful Spider-Man I've ever seen. I mean, just nailed it. I, like, right when I saw him, I was like, that's Spider-Man. You know, just, I love you, Tobey Maguire, but Tom Holland, my new favorite on-screen Spider-Man. I loved Ant-Man in the movie. It was great to see him back, because I love the Ant-Man movie, as you've, you've seen my review. You know, I really liked it. I love Paul Rudd as Ant-Man, and I think, you know, it was just... It was really fun to see him in the movie. Vision is really good in this movie. Like, I see that Vision's back, and, you know, he's, like, trying to get at a Scarlet Witch and everything like he did in the comics. I know they had a relationship, so it was great to see Vision. He's very much like the Mr. Spock or Data of the Avengers, and it's really great to finally have a character like that. Overall, guys, I cannot praise this movie enough. I love the special effects. The fight scenes were just great. They were intense. They were gritty. I mean, this is just a perfect superhero movie. It really is. Was it better than Winter Soldier? I'd say not better, but equal. Because I think that these are two of the best Marvel movies that they've ever put out. That's why I'm definitely going to give Captain America Civil War a 2C because it is a thrill ride. Guys, like I said, I cannot praise this movie enough. You just have to go see it. It is one of the best Marvel movies so far. Like I said, I have my nitpicks about them, but they are not deal breakers for the movie. So that's it for me. As always, if you like what you see, go and hit subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below. And remember, I waste my money so you don't have to. Thanks for watching.